Good morning. Good morning. Got your peaceable. T minus one. It is. It damn well better be T minus one. Yeah. I did uh, T minus two and then T minus two again. You did? <laughs> I guess T minus two was masking day. This is not Cape Canaveral, you know? Yeah. Uh, so this is T minus one, hopefully. Um, we're just going over the plan for the car. I think it's 99% done. Um, we're just trying to think of any little last minute things like this little inside edge here. Um, there's a couple spots that we did some repairs on we have to finish up. Uh, but it should be pretty much ready to go in terms of sanding. Um, so what we were discussing is make sure all the sanding is done so we're not creating any more debris. Then we're gonna push the car over this way, clean the floor out over here as best we can. Push the car back over here, clean the floor out over there. Then put the car where it's supposed to be, which is gonna be diagonal through here, right on the airflow path, hopefully, from there to there. Um, and then I'll go back to masking. Maybe Pops is gonna help me mask. And then we gotta clean out the garage. Yeah. Uh, Roger, um, thank you so much for making that video. That was awesome of you. Um, I'll show you where we ended up yesterday. Um, as I mentioned in one of my comments, after putting the foam and stuff in here, the, the hood doesn't really want to close anymore, which is actually kind of perfect. So you see it's sitting up just enough where I can paint that edge um, all the way around. Um, we're not going to be able to get any paint down inside this edge on the valence but i'm not really worried about it as i was just telling pops there's like one this this was painted before hence all the red overspray um there's just one little spot where it fell down on the stand and it kind of chewed up the paint so if we don't get any paint on that we can just touch it up later probably and it'll be fine you know and it's only this thick so it's not as pop said it's not one of those things people are going to be opening up the hood and looking at um so we'll even if we don't get any paint on that, it's not a big deal. So the hood's basically laying in a perfect spot to paint that edge. Um, and I can even reach with tweezers these little guys perfectly. Um, so that's good. So let's see. Was that it? I think so. We went over all the stuff you were going to sand, I believe. I'm going to sand this. Yep. That, that spot over there, and the equivalent over there. Right. Yeah, that's it. So we're just about done sanding. So we almost made it two days. If yeah. we pushed through yesterday, we could have had all the sanding finished. Yeah, yeah. But no, you wanted to go home. Slacker. I did? Yeah. What you sent me home. No. What? I said take a break. I didn't say go home. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to attack that. Um, and, and sorry, before I forget, uh, thanks to everybody else for your comments. Um, Greg. Uh, Walt, a couple of people have been commenting on this, uh, this stuff, uh, epoxy stuff. Epoxy stuff. Um, so I was just talking about with, with pops. Uh, so we're going to skip the epoxy step. I think, I think that sounds like sound advice. Um, I may just put a, a light coat of sealer on these areas first, um, just to try and lock it down before I put the, the real coat of sealer on. I'm not even sure that's necessary. Um, as I was telling Pops, I went over to uh, Gabe, that's his name, okay. um, Motivated Painters um, channel. And he does all PPG waterborne all the time. So every product that you see on this car is what he uses. Um, and I rationalized to myself, this is basically the same as any collision job that they would do, right? You're going to sand the paint back. They don't take the car down to bare metal when they do um, repair jobs, right? They just feather out the the base coat and the clear coat and everything is paint right over it so that's we're putting ppg paint on top of ppg paint it should work there shouldn't be any reaction issues and stuff i hope um, so the sealer should lock everything down and we should be good uh so anyway yeah thanks everybody for your comments on that that was very helpful uh, i know kind of going like this on the plan for this stuff but i think we're basically back to the plan we started with um except maybe put put a, a light coat of sealer down there first so yeah, we're gonna get to work. So the car's almost finished. Let's wrap it up. All right, I'm pretty proud of this MacGyver setup here. <laughs> so as I said in the last video, we're gonna run some plastic from under the house here 
uh, around the compressor so that it can get fresh air from under the house. Um, so, but I need to keep the plastic off of it because it'll melt. Um, <laughs> so I came up with this apparatus. So hopefully that will keep all the plastic off of it all the way around. <laughs> Uh, Russ is dying right now. Eric, what have you done? Oh, that's funny. Anyway, uh, we got uh, the plastic up on one wall, so that took about 45 minutes. So this is going to take a while. Pops is not happy. Oh, he wants to go home. Too bad. We got work to do. Uh, so Pops was debating the wisdom about whether we need to cover the ceiling or not. Um, it's an open question, I don't know, but you know, there's all these little cobwebs and crap up there and in my mind any one of those things falls down in the paint and you're toast. Um, so we're going to cover the ceiling too. This stuff is 12 feet wide, I think. Uh, 16 feet wide. And it should only take two of these to get all the way across the, the door, all the way across the garage. So I don't have to do it twice. They're 16 feet wide, so. How about doing around about the car? Just the whole thing. The car, the car is the whole garage. It's diagonal, remember? Yeah, I know. I mean, you could lay a strip across one big strip. You could, but then, I mean, you know, like some, Right, but then something from here blows down and... Oh my gosh, okay, whatever. Do you want this car to be a clean paint job or not? Yes, I do. Okay. If you're worried about stuff coming down... I am worried about... Here. Well, again, I don't know where the dirt's gonna come from. I just don't, I just don't want it in my paint. Huh? I just don't want it in my paint. I hear you. Okay. Okay. Happy? Let's do it. Let's go. There's a whole lot of blue going on. All right, folks, let me know what you think about this setup. I'm not as happy with it as I thought I would be, but uh, I think it'll be all right. This is tied up pretty well for the most part. Not a lot of slop in it. Um, Especially up here, side up pretty nice and tight. Uh, we didn't do the entire distance. We kind of stopped right over on this last section over here. I think this will be okay. I cleaned the ceiling and everything over here. Actually, this whole section right here. Uh, so we'll open up the door there and the air's coming straight across the car this way. I think it'll be all right. Um, so this is the arrangement that we've got. Uh, the car, like I said, is basically pointed right at the exhaust filters here. Uh, lighting's pretty good. We cut through the plastic uh, to let the light show through. Um, I wasn't going to do that originally, but then I saw this plastic was blue. And I figured, yeah, I don't really want that. That's not good. Um, so all that's left is uh, tape this down on the bottom. Uh, we, we tried doing it earlier, but the floor was still a little bit damp, so the tape wasn't really sticking. Uh, here's our little MacGyver setup in here. We ended up putting a piece of cardboard uh, around the compressor to keep the plastic off because it was still hitting the compressor. Um, hopefully that's not a fire hazard. Um, it's not touching the hot parts of the compressor, it's touching the tank down here at the bottom. Um, you can see there's a lot of air coming from under the house. I don't know if you can see that. Now uh, you can see that. Um, that's not great because that's unfiltered air coming through there. Um, but there's not a lot of places it can get out here. Uh, so tomorrow we'll finish cleaning up and I'll plug up some of these holes and things there where air could come through. Uh, I think it'll be okay. Um, yeah, so that does it for that. Um, you know, we cleaned out the garage. That's pretty nice. It's the first time the garage has been clean in ever. I'm not sure. Um, all the stuff is outside, so hopefully someone doesn't come rob my house tonight. Um, so we left the doors open for this stuff. Uh, the drum room's open. We got all the paint supplies in here. Um, not a lot of air comes through this opening either, which is good. Um, so we can actually go in there while we're painting to take a break. Kept this open here. Access to the fan control, stuff like that. Okay. Uh, so that's gonna do it for this part of the job. So uh, Pops left about half an hour ago. It's been a long day today. I don't even know what time it is. What time is it? We started at nine. It's now five. Yeah, that's a long day. Um, so I'm going to do some masking on the doors and stuff here and call it a day. Uh, so we're going to end up violating Greg's advice of don't do anything on paint day except paint. Um, there's a little bit of stuff we're going to have to do tomorrow. Um, maybe some, we're not going to tape the car to the floor until tomorrow. 
Um, we got to get the wheels off and uh, some more lights in here and stuff. So there's a little bit of work. Um, I think that's okay because uh, today it was 66 degrees at like 10 o'clock. Um, so it's going to be the afternoon before it's warm enough to paint anyway. Um, so we'll have a few hours in the morning to finish up. So I'll, uh, I'll do a little more masking here and then uh, we'll wrap this video up. Okay, that is it. I am beat. It is 7.35, so it's a 10-hour day. Um, car is done as it's going to get for today. Um, I got the doors all wrapped up. So we got all this stuff masked up as best as I can up in here. We have to paint these guys in here, which is kind of a nuisance. So I have to leave that area open. Um, put the smooth transition tape down there. Um, I was really annoyed, but lucky. Um, I wrapped the doors in paper like this all the way to the bottom. And then I thought, oh, I wonder if that's going to hit that. And I closed the door and sure enough, so I had to take all the paper off the bottom of the door and then tape it so it doesn't hit. Um, so that guy can close now without hitting anything. Uh, as I mentioned before, we were going to do black down here. So for today, I just put a piece of smooth transition tape right here and we'll just mask it from here on down. And we'll go ahead and paint red all the way around the corners here and not worry about it or, or whatever. Um, I just didn't want to paint all of this stuff in red all the way down to the pinch weld and then sand it all off again later. So I just left it. Um, what else? Got our racing stripes in. Uh, masked around the windows. It's all done. Everything takes so long. That was like, what, two hours just to do that masking there. Um, and the other thing I did, hopefully preemptively, excuse me, preemptively, I put some bug traps in here. So I got some of these sweet smelling sticky fly traps. And these guys are supposed to be good for gnats and mosquitoes and all sorts of other kind of flying bugs. So <clears throat> I got three of these things around here. Three of these things around here. One over by the door there. One on my cabinet. Um, yeah. All right, so that's it. Uh, this door here, you see this is all uh, taped off, ready to go. I sealed off the vents outside um, so no air can get in through there. Yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, so tomorrow, uh, all we have to do tomorrow is what? Jack the car up, put the car in jack stands, take the wheels off. Put the plastic on the car, get it masked down to the floor. Paint, I think. I think the rest of the car is ready to go. Um, we have to build our little uh, intake filter thing there, put the intake filters in. Um, we probably will want to tape this stuff down to the floor. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this before, this thing's kind of a pain because I can't reach my compressor switch, so my compressor's off. Um, so I, I have to lift this plastic up to get in there and turn the compressor on and then seal it back when I'm done. Uh, oh, that's it. This all seems to be working pretty well here. You know, when the wind blows, this whole thing kind of billows here, as you can see. Um, I might try and strap it down a little bit more like I did here, you see, to try and keep this thing from fluttering around. But uh, I think it's good. Um, I know this is getting posted really late, so I'm probably not going to get to a lot of comments from people before tomorrow. But hopefully if anybody has anything important to say or an idea that I missed or something, um, I'll have a chance to get it um, before I paint tomorrow. But uh, yeah, that's it. Wish us luck, everybody. Um, it's T minus zero tomorrow. Paint time. Yes, we're excited. Well, obviously we have to clean the car still. Um, so we'll hit it with uh, the out. Ammonia-free uh, window cleaner, then the wax and grease remover, probably twice, you know, until everything's spotless. Uh, make sure there's no gum on it from tape and stuff like this anywhere when it's ready to go, I think. So yeah, that's it. Um, we will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow should be an awesome day. Will be an awesome day. Um, we'll post the video as soon as uh, we're done painting and come down here and unmask everything. Um, 
after I shower and everything, and we'll get a picture and hopefully show you what this thing looks like. That'll be awesome. All right, everybody, take it easy. We'll see you tomorrow.